Land Trust is a non-profit making organization running a number of programs geared towards supporting offices through capacity building trainings. The operations of African Trust are supported by African Foundation based in the Netherlands. iCare Project is one of the programs under African Trust whose major focus is on improving the lives of the vulnerable girls and women. iCare deals with production of reusable sanitary towels with an objective of ensuring that the girl child stays in school during her menses and the women go about their daily chores without hindrance. Mayanya community is made up of people who do not have a source of income, so the poverty level is very high. Most of the girls who attend this school come from poor families, and when they are in their menses, they do not come to school, they miss school, because they fear the embarrassment. They have no protection, and uh, they don't have money to buy the sanitary towels. Faced with these challenges, some of them end up using crude products, improvised products which are inhygienic and uh, this actually exposed them to some some dangerous infections. And because they use those means um, they feel ashamed because it's leaking. And me as woman hearing all those stories i really thought we must do something against this so you will find that in a month a girl is most likely to miss a school for a week or some few days because of this because she's not able to be in school as a result of not having proper protection when they are attending their monthly period it really affected the academic because when you look at our previous years, way back to 2007, you will find that the performance of our girls in the school was a bit too low. You could rarely get a girl scoring as much as maybe 300 marks and above. So that is why we decided that we can maybe help our girls retain them in school so that we can also improve their academic performance. We talk about women empowerment. But how can you empower the women if something like this is happening? If girls from the beginning feel ashamed of something, of a period, that belongs to us women. So for that reason, I thought we have to do something, so I went to Kirdi. The first thing we did ask ourselves these challenges, that uh, some questions about the challenges that uh, these young girls face. Challenges like affordability, you know, the disposal of the product and the accessibility. So we asked some questions like, can we provide a cheap alternative? And uh, how can we do that? And which materials can we use so that we make this thing be a little bit disposable? And how can we provide this kind of product accessible to these young ladies? And there are some considerations we were, put, we were actually putting in place. Especially the, the general considerations we were looking at was the, the availability of the material locally. And uh, there's also another thing that we are looking at, uh, the cost of the material. And uh, there were some considerations like the strength of the material. Kiri has been training those ladies and so we could have an assessment as well to see, okay, uh, who's best, who's, who can do this, who has the right standards. So after those uh, few days, we could see, okay, we want you, we want uh, that lady, we want Whisper, we want... Uh, that's the way we did it. After the materials have been procured, we have the first process, which we call skiving or cutting. The skiving is done using a skiving machine, which we have at the center. We skive the, 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 the pattern, we skive the absorption material, we skive the PVC layer and the Velcro tape. At the skiving uh, level, you do all, all everything that, needed, that is needed in the production, the process. It's done at once. Then from there, they go to the stitching. So we have artisans who do the stitching, 
So they put pad A and pad B, that is what we call it, pad A and pad B, and put the inserts, then they do the stitching. When it's done with the stitching, the same artisans take it to a place where we call overlocking. So there, there's one artisan who does the overlocking, and once she is done with the overlocking, we now take it to the process of packing. But before we do the packing, we have something called branding. The bag goes through the same process of skiving and stitching. We do the branding. Then from the branding, the last process is packing. IKEA package includes four sanitary towels. We have two for heavy, for heavy flow and two for light flow. In it, we also have washing instructions or a washing manual where we can all read how exactly to wash the product after use. In front of it is how to use it in the first place. The schools are our major distribution channel and we gain access to the schools through the school administration and with the support of the Ministry of Education at large. So once we have this kind of appointments, we have itineraries on the days when we, we access the schools. Red is a color of empowerment. Everybody say with me, empowerment. Empowerment. And boldness. And boldness. If it's a new school, we are coming still to do the sensitization and eventually do the delivery of the product. The school has been providing us with sanitary towels since class six. If you can go through our files, you can see the, the, the standard of girls is really coming up and even the enrollment in our school as, as compared to the previous years. Since I started receiving the sanitary towels, I've never been absent due to the problem that us girls have. I've never missed school com for five days compared to the times that we were not being provided, provided with the sanitary towels. And then their self-esteem now has been raised. They feel confident about themselves now. So six women get their income now. And of course, Esther and Brenda as well as part of the team. So for me, that's a milestone. Pogruk Masayudo eye kanya kana jogi kawa. Enuni gimi owa yuto moro matin to yuto no ose konya kum dak mara ma akao pesa matin a konya konya tiye sikul to an bende matin a ati yogo korka chie meot. Koro asane no pogruo kolo yoka ka kinde mane anti re chon chande. Amor kabisa di kony majo gyo semi ya. Ane no ka an gi change life na. Gi gi ga teni tie changes kabisa. Amor kabisa. Another milestone is that the girls who uh, were part of the of the pilot in the survey, they are still using the pets. The good thing of those pets is you can use them for one year. And they are still coming uh, to us and telling us we're still using it. Now we can go to school. And that is a big milestone because that's the reason why we are doing it. I believe that if I continue receiving these sanitary towels, I will continue improving on till one day perhaps become one of the best students in Kenya. <laughs> We are not out to make profit, but we are out to make sure that our target customers are able to find value in what we are offering. They will not be looking at the cost implication of the towel, but they will be looking at what value are they finding out of this pad. If I look at Western Kenya, uh, I want to have reached 500,000 girls. They use the eye care pads. And in our center, 25 30 uh, women working uh, in the production unit. This requires partnerships with other CBOs. At the same time, using our own uh, girls as ambassadors of their care sanitary pad, using the youth groups and community banks that we exist in various communities. And then we are also going to do this through local publicity in the local media. We as Kirdi, We've already communicated with camps and we're in the process of actually developing uh, 
standard procedure for this kind of product. We took this step so that this product can be legally recognized and widely accepted by the intended end users. The girls are very, very enthusiastic. They really adopt that idea. But the parents has to pay for it. So what we shall do and what we must do is to involve the parents. Because the girls are screaming, I want the pets, please give me. But when they go home, money is needed. So if we explain to the parents, involve them directly, uh, they must adapt the idea of the pets and see how it's uh, the, the value of the pets for their girls. I highly recommend this product to all sorts of women, not only to the vulnerable women, but any other room that would like to use this product. This product is safe and uh, we actually recommend it to everyone. I and the whole team of eye care, we really want to make a difference for girls and women. But we can't do it on our own. So what we are seeking for are partners who really want to support the poorest of the poorest girls because they can't have any access to those pets. And we also are looking for partners who can um, support us and join us in the programs we want to develop for uh, the girl empowerment and the women empowerment. And of course we have big dreams. Money is needed for that to extend the business and if partners are willing to join us for that, please come.